and welcome to That Figure's Christmas New Year's special. Hell yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to talk about all the things that we didn't buy this year and some things that we did buy mm, this year. Uh, absolutely. S- Sam, it's been a good year for toys and merch and stuff, I think. William, it absolutely has. <laughs> uh, granted, we, we weren't there every week to talk about it, but no. the times we were there, I mean, look, hopefully we'll, we'll do a lot better next year, yeah, but yeah, yeah. the times we were there, uh, there was some good shit, there was. to say the least. There was. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm keen to do it a lot more next year. Um, yeah, yeah. But uh, this will be a nice wrap-up of some of the cool things mm. that we've seen. Um, shall we just jump into it? We don't need a pad yeah. here. We're not I mean, streaming. look, I'll say they're not in any way, uh, in sense or form, affordable. No. But- I mean, they could be. Depends on your tax bracket. That's true. Uh, but that's that's a you problem. So... I mean, this first one, not affordable, <laughs> but maybe <laughs> afforded. <laughs> afforded. <laughs> Paid because, for. <laughs> uh, what are we looking at first? Uh, so jumping into the world of Star Wars, we're looking at the uh, Force Effects Darth Vader re- re- replica Rebbit. lightsaber. There we go. Um, just j- just having to think how much this thing costs. It gave me a stroke. <laughs> um, but no, this is probably. I mean, I, I love my props. Yeah. This was one of the things during the year that I was very excited for. Not because I was buying it, but just because no. it was cool that it was being made. But someone bought it, and that's you, William. I should, I should have just... I, had, I should have had this prepared. You should have just had it ready. Yeah. <laughs> you know what would be there really cool is if, if we cut into the like the review that we never publish, and it's like... Hey, we should this. totally do that. Maybe yeah. I will. Um, oh, wait, have you not put that out? No. <laughs> I didn't go. It's been a busy year, Sam. Um, uh, let's, let's cut over to here. Look, look at this thing. Look at it. Amazing. It's so good. Can't hear it, but it looks great. Yeah, to Discord won't like it. But yeah, no. It has all the little these things. It's so good. And a little bit of a little bit of clash on clash. It's so good. Like I'll say that like the the tech they've put into this and the new line of sabers that came out this year is amazing. Yeah. Um, holding them in hand, mm. they feel so much more comfortable totally. than the other ones. I don't yeah. know how or yeah. like how they managed to do that, but it just does. Mm. Um, I love this one because it had the little wires coming out of the little yeah, gaps yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, towards the top of the uh, the saber, yeah. which is great. Um, and just like the different use of like the materials, like you've got the mm. plastics with the metals and some of the plastic is textured and yeah. some of it's smooth. Like it was just great. Um, the kyber crystal, a bit of a waste. <laughs> what the doesn't really do that? much. Yeah, yeah. I, I um, forgot it was even part of it. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know where. But no, that yeah. Is. Oh god! Oh, no, it's not in the saber. No, no, no it can't be in the saber no. of the thing. Yeah, that's Stupid. right. Yeah, um, but uh, no. Overall, great, great piece absolutely. for the Star Wars world this year. Um, I'm very intrigued to see what more sabers. What more? What I other ones? What, what, what other sabers will come in 2023? <laughs> what's the one you're holding? Are you because you've got an Anakin saber? Is it? I've 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 got like the Skywalker saber. Yeah, I've got that. I reckon if they, because like, look, I've been so so tempted <laughs> by all of these, yeah. and I say this now, but I reckon if it rolls around, I'll probably still not get it. I know. But if yeah. they were just, if they were like, here's the Anakin saber from Episode Three, mm. that's the one where I'd be a bit like, ooh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You want because it's a bit chunkier and a little bit more like it feels two thousand and five. I think <laughs> it's. I think it's um slimmer than yeah right like the luke one from four from mm-hmm. what i've seen yeah but it hasn't it hasn't got like the little like jewel it's like got like a yeah, brass gold yes. bit yeah um there's just other elements of it that are different but i think just because it's attached to that movie that's my favorite one yeah yeah. i'm kind of like because i was really tempted by the obi-wan i was saber. gonna say yeah that, that yeah, that yeah. get you close um so look it's dangerous territory but We'll see what happens when we get to it. Safe for now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I think we've got another uh, thing from Wells Yeah, thing. we've got, a, like, staying in the world of prop mm. stuff here, propage, uh, as some say, uh, we have the uh, Wonder One scale Han Solo blaster. We do. This thing was so fucking cool. <sighs> it's like um, nuts, man. It wasn't officially licensed, mm. but just the fact that someone was like, hey, let's make this. Yeah. And you know m- like sell it to people totally. is great the weathering and the detail on this is still just so immaculate um i haven't actually seen any like in hand photos of this so no, i'm not yet. after this i kind of want to do a bit of a google and mm. see what's out there but just from these photos you can tell that the weathering and the detail is there it's accurate it looks used yeah it looks like it's been thrown around the falcon a bit totally. like this thing is 
really really cool it's sick um i, I love this i love this feels yeah, so important all the details <laughs> all the details are there and like just like the like the, oh, the freaking what's it called like the nozzle yeah the, the barrel yeah the, yeah yeah the barrel there we yeah. go we'll, we'll, we'll say that <laughs> um yeah it's got like all the correct bits the textures oh, it's sick, it's, it, it's 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 all there the one thing i wish it did have was a little bit of like metal uh like coloring and charring at mm. like, the end um similar with like the star lord yeah guns yeah um because i think i have seen other like prop photos where it does have a little bit of that totally um yeah. but just like having the plaque in the base as well is just a really really and nice touch and that it's not just like a simple black totally stand it's yeah. like they've put effort into it looking like it's come from the star wars universe which is cool and from memory the base lights up as well yeah i'm yeah. pretty sure it did yeah. yeah so it yeah it's pretty sick but pretty if, pretty cool item if you hadn't made me one already i would be more tempted but my yeah, I, I love absolutely. i love my 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 sam i'm box, so but, glad yeah i'm so glad um <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that you're glad my wallet's glad that i'm glad as well yeah yeah <laughs> i don't need another one but yeah this is this is stunning there is and um i mean there are a couple other things that you're glad about that i am came around this year william so mm -hmm. why don't you tell us your first uh of your favorite two picks for absolutely Star um the figure that figures the figure. uh is <laughs> this guy which we got hot off the press from milk please on one of our streams yes um it's a fig uh book of boba fett boba fett um, as opposed to the Mandalorian Book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett. Anyway, whatever. Yep. Um, this is in the, like the six inch line, and the reason that it's here is this head sculpt. Uh, yeah. We just we freaked out. It's that so thing good. was incredible. It still is. Like just looking at it, it's like that's a person. It, it to and it's and it's not just the, the the fact that there's two, and the other ones are even yeah. even cooler, just as um, good. And uh, and it's an incredible set because it also comes with like a lot of bits and pieces, and it yeah. comes with the throne. And I think that's cool. The price wise, I think it was like a hundred and sixty dollars for the figure and all these bits and pieces. And for these kinds of figures, that's oh, pretty good. That's um, pretty damn good. Uh, it's still very tempting for me, but I'm like, I'm genuinely really weaning off my six inch figure purchases. Yep. So you really are. Yeah. I don't want. I don't want to embed. I don't want to. I don't want to dive into these guys because if I start getting fig warts, then I'm going to go down. Yeah, that that's path. dangerous. Yeah, um, but uh, yeah. very, very cool. And like, look at that dude. Yeah, that's that's straight <laughs> out of the show. <laughs> it's so cool. That's sick. Um, very tempting, but yeah, that one didn't didn't hit my wallet this year. Um, but right. the one that I'm surprised neither of us have caved on this mm. year from the world of Star Wars. Yeah, uh, yeah. comes from Disney Parks. And it's the Ken oh. <laughs> Yeah, look, this like this is really cool. Yeah, and again, yeah. Milk has gotten this. Yes, he has, <laughs> and I think he has put some photos in Discord, and it looks yes. great. Yeah, um, I had like seen photos all over Reddit mm -hmm. and YouTube of this thing. Yeah, um, there's a few uh, channels I follow on YouTube where they go to the parks and show you around, and yep. this was like a very heavily featured item in those videos around the time this came out. Yeah, um, it was, it was also very hard to get yes. because it's. A replica mm. of like what's in the show, and not only that, but like it's functional. Yes, like yeah. it lights up. It has sound effects. You put in your own key code, <laughs> and then like this may like this may as well be the screen use prop. Totally, yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's amazing. It's the fact that it's not under or oversized as well. Like it is yeah. the size it is in the show, because a lot of Disney yeah. Park stuff can kind of be a little bit chunkier, yeah. or a little bit softer in the mold. But like it's the only thing. That would like make it it's like a 99 percent perfect thing is if these little inter internal bits were more were actually like cushioned because i think they're just okay. pl plastic on this thing but in the show it's kind of right, like a okay. padded thing um, yeah 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 but I, it's so freaking cool and it's just it's totally the the dumb types of props that we love when they make yeah them. like the weird obscure stuff absolutely it's less yeah. obscure now that it's been in mando but it was for a while when it was yeah. just an ice cream maker in the background of empire <laughs> but um yeah I just, I, I love it. I love it. I, I was just thinking about it and like, it'd be a cool thing if like in this new like world of Star Wars now, where you've got like Mando, like you've got like these other shows mm. coming here and there. Um, it'd be cool if like the props you see, <laughs> if like each season there's like maybe two or three things where the prop is in fact a prototype for a product coming to the park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, it's yeah. like, like, as I was thinking about it and I was like, they could have very easily just made a prototype of this. Yep. And put Chucked it in it, the show. <laughs> and put it on the set of Mando. Yeah. Just so they didn't have to go the lengths of making a more expensive version yeah, yeah. for the show. The prop makers get Because, yeah, it's like... Because, like, 
the paint apps as well. Yeah. Like it, just, it looks amazing. Like the, I like the, like the yellowing and the, yeah. all the specs and stuff on it. It's so oh, good. Man. It's so nice. Um, yeah. And it is, it was on the Disney shop as well that you could purchase, but it's. Oh, right. Okay. Out. I got very and It excited. wasn't too badly <laughs> priced as well, was it? No. Well, yeah, it was pretty good for what it was. Like, I think it, yeah, I can't, I don't want to throw a price out there, but I know it was, it was pretty cheap. Um, yeah. That is a big mug, though. That's a huge fucking mug. I was just thinking that. That's a massive mug. <laughs> that's wild. That's, a, uh, that, that's an American mug. That's, that's what an, that is. That's a small. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but uh, things that aren't small, Sam, uh, mm. come from the world of Marvel. So oh, the world of Marvel, eh? <laughs> it's been very up and down this year, but one good thing that did come out of it mm. was this Captain America life-size bust. There he is. Oh, <laughs> man. Um, look, I love this thing for a number of reasons because Cap is, like, in my top three mm. characters in the MCU. Yeah. Um, and this just looks so good. Yeah. It yep. looks so incredibly nice. Like, the detail in, like, the scaling on his armor that you can see there is so good. Yeah. There's, like, tiny hints of, like, like, it's not just, like, a flat blue. Yes. It's, like, it changes, and, like, there's variations of blue, which is great. Um, and especially, like, around his helmet. you got, like, the scuffs and the scrapes mm. and, like, the dirt and grime on his face as well. Like, you see his paws. Oh, there's his little stubble. It's, oh, it's amazing. <laughs> they did so well with this. Um, this was Queen, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. Yeah, it was Queen. So, yeah, and, like, the, the base is nice and simple. Like, mm -hmm. the fact he's got the hammer as well, that's just another bonus totally. to this figure, yeah. which is great. Um, the only gripe I still have is that it's a thing with Captain America stuff where the shield always looks really, like, subpar compared to the figure. Mm. Um, it they, they just... They haven't figured out how to give it that, like, m metal look. Yes. It, like, you look at it and it still looks very, very plastic. Mm, mm, um, so if they can nail that in the future, amazing. Yeah. Yep. Um, but, yeah, look, other than that, I think this is a really, really solid, solid piece. Totally. I was watching... Uh, I think I was watching a review of the um, Wonder Woman one. Um, yeah, okay. <clears throat> which was Queen as well. I think I was watching the Queen one. And they were talking about how the fingers and stuff are so rubbery that you can slip out the props. And I'm like, oh. so what you're actually getting, you're getting a hammer that you can hold. <laughs> if it, I, I, shit. I assume that the same tech as Wonder Woman, because Wonder Woman had like a sword or something, and you could, yeah. you could pry the fingers open enough to pull out the prop. And the same, oh, it was Harley Quinn. That's what it was. It was Harley Quinn with a baseball bat and gun, and you could pull the gun out and have the gun and you holy can pull the shit so you're getting a one-to-one -one hammer wow that that's so have. cool <laughs> um imagine if you could take off his cowl and then yeah. he feels like hair that would be that would be good more so if you could take off the cowl and put it on and not look like a fuckwit that would be awesome that'd be even better that'd be really nice <laughs> your body if you're listening that'd be great <sighs> i tried yeah, no. mine on the other day it's still bad <laughs> <laughs> it's still bad yeah it's still bad um no yeah but the, overall this was one of my favorite things in marvel this year totally. just because it was a captain america thing like we got a lot of things for captain america mm. over the span of this last year for the infinity saga um yeah <laughs> uh but no yeah i, I feel like I, ha I had to put something yes, for cap in here because absolutely. all of this stuff just always looks so damn good totally. doesn't matter what scale he's in i hope um, queen show us a marvel figure soon i know that they're <sighs> They're, they're yeah. focusing on DC, but come on, man. Show us a 1-6 soon, please. <laughs> um, but another realm of Marvel that we got some merch in this mm. year was for the Spider-Man franchise. Yeah. Uh, and my favorite thing was the amazing Spider-Man hot toy of there Andrew Garfield. And there he this is, is pre-ordered. It is. I do have this pre-ordered, mm. so I'm keen for it to come out in 2030. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, like this thing, it was the sort of thing where I think... Because the photos for him here were so simple yep. and the lighting was so, like, good. Mm. It just really set off the whole thing. And I was like, well, that's an instant purchase, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it really, really looks good. And, like, uh, like at the moment, a lot of Hot Toys things are being pushed back and thrown around. And this had a weird thing where mm. it was never put up officially for pre-order on, like, official sites, like Sideshow and Pop Culture here mm. in Australia. Um so we're still wondering what's happening with it. It's most likely a licensing issue. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, they still have to say it's The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Yeah. Which is where a lot of people were confused. Um, and that's why he can't really come with, like, any propage or anything mm. from the No Way Home film as well. Yeah. We're assuming anyway. Um, 
But putting that aside, overall, really, really good figure. Charlie. Williams got the first release of this that came out for The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Yep. Somewhere. Yep. Um, <laughs> and, like, do you still think that this is a different body I do think than so. the one the, you the, have? The more that I look at these photos, the more it does just look modern. Like, the one that yeah. I've got is, is like very... more full? Yeah, totally. Both more full and more elong- elongated, like Andrew yeah, Garfield okay. is. Yeah. It's, like, yeah. it's a lot more lanky than the one I've got. And I think yeah. that... I think articulation-wise, it's getting into poses that I would be cautious with the older body as well, because they yeah, were very okay. frail, whereas the new yeah. bodies almost feel like those steel bodies you get from third party sometimes, how that you can yeah. kind of fuck it around and it won't... Yeah. fall apart and i think i hope it's yeah. like that <laughs> yeah it would be nice and i mean the thing i hope is that it has at least similar material to the one that came before because mm. you could pose it and it wouldn't have the saggy pants that the holland figures often okay, do cool. um this one does it does the only reason that i think it might have unfortunately similar material is the baggy butt mm. which is yeah is a bit of a, to- a tom holland figure thing yeah um but uh, i like it i think the best thing about this, the the, the 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 despite the fact that it can't be a No Way Home figure, they still gave him the one pointy hand, or the, the one two pointy, pointy hand, hands. yeah, um, and 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 the piece, yeah, the and piece the piece as well, yeah. Yep. I like that. They, it, it's they, very good. Yeah, they subtly um, get some bits in there. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, for me, this was like definitely like my Spider Man take of the year. Mm. It, I mean, look. I say that, but everything they released for No Way Home in terms of like one six scale was so amazing. So good. It all looks so damn good. It's so yeah. good that William just wants to buy it all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's another video. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I'm really keen for this. And like, just like Spider Man figures going forward because they've now been able to master like the neck yes. issue, which is great. Yes. Um, so yeah, we've got some really cool stuff to look forward to mm, in mm. the future. I mean, yeah, when it it's not my pick, so I might as well briefly mention it. The new Tom Holland yeah, yeah. one could very oh. easily have fit into one of oh. our <laughs> spots. Mate, um, that's that's like hovering in a tab. Yeah, that's that's just there. It's um, it's hard. <laughs> yeah. But staying in the world of Hot Toys, mm. we've got the Hot Toy that pretty much broke William this yes. year. And there was a lot of them, but they this were... is the one that I think took the cake. Absolutely. It's the She-Hulk one. It's uh, so nice. It's a, it, they blue balls this for a while, and I thought they weren't going to do one because yes. so many of the shows, like WandaVision stuff, it was like a week or two after, whereas this was like a solid month totally. or two. Um, totally, yeah. And uh, this is still not revealed. I still don't know where Kevin's coming. Where's Kevin at? Where's Just he? add him as an accessory, guys. Yeah, or be, like, real shitty uh, and don't do this, but put half of him in this and half of him in the Daredevil release. Oh, could you imagine? Yeah. Could you imagine if it was, like, okay, in this you get the Kevin. Yeah. But with Daredevil you get the stand that like he the, has to stand on. thing, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you, 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 you get the oh. rest of it. Yeah, if they start doing builder figures, Hot Toys are, are going to be real evil. Oh, um, that's that'd be fucked. That would be messed up. <laughs> this one isn't though. I'm very excited for this. Uh, I'm excited that it's it, like it, it's the thing that I was like. I mean, look at the scale of it. It's, it's scaling is great. Yeah. Um, it's the thing that we were kind of talking about with like Miss Marvel and stuff. Is that they mm-hmm. would have to build new bodies for like these new builds of characters. Totally. And I yeah. thought that's what would prevent them from giving us a shock, but they gave totally. it to us. It's got the rolling eyeballs, which is something that they're putting in most figures now, but I think for a character that's ex- as expressive as She-Hulk, it's good that it's there as well. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah. The only thing for me is that I wish she came with a bit of a raging face. Yes. Uh, there's I think a, that would have been cool. I don't know if I grabbed it, but there's a this this clapping pose is weird yeah. with a smiling face. <laughs> yeah. Like, it would have been cool if, like, because of her hair, obviously, yes. if it was a thing where, like, the face plate just came out. Yeah, totally. And you just put on, like, just, just one of her looking a bit angry would have yep. been cool. Um, because yeah, imagine totally. if it was a thing where it was like she was angry, like her mouth open, mm. and like they had like some spit hanging from like her lip or a jaw or something, just to emulate like the rage yeah. at, the, at that moment. That'd be cool. A bit of prime one, but, um, they love a good, bit yeah, of spit. totally, <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah, totally. Like, I mean, it, it's totally the thing. I, I don't really do much kind of big action poses with my hot toys mm. so i'm I, like it'll probably be in something like this with the phone really because like we're always just so scared of tearing something and and this one is a seamless body as well so there's, yeah you know, there's a lot of possibilities those uh elbows and stuff might might wear over time but yeah hopefully not because i think I, I'm, I'm super impressed with it my only other gripe well not even a gripe because we prefer it but in a, in a figure that, you know, you want a, a bit of dynamic posing, the hair is going to be a big traffic cone. You're not going to be able to do much with the head. 
Yeah. Um, so rooted hair might have been that. nice here, but uh, if you look yeah. through all the photos, she's she's never looking too different than front on. Yeah, because um, um, like I've got the Aquaman figure, mm. and his hair is the same issue. It's like you can't turn that. Yeah, yeah. like you 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 can turn it a little bit. Yeah. Um, but I I would say that's why they've given her the eyes. Mm, mm-hmm. Um, because with Aquaman, with his eyes, he's not looking forward. He's looking off to the side. Oh, damn. Yeah. So it's like, I, th- I think they did that to emulate some form of like opposability where he doesn't have to just be like straight on. Yeah. But it's like at the same time, he's you always going to be looking to the right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no, overall, yeah, this was such a solid, solid piece. Mm. I'm curious as to why they still haven't done a Miss Marvel. I'm assuming yeah. it's because they were just like, look, her series is this year. Mm. Her movie is next year. Yeah. We might as well just wait for the movie and update it then. Totally. So I'm assuming that's what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. Um, but believe it or not, there are things you can buy that are taller than, than this She-Hulk. Oh. And, I, and one of them is here for William, yes. which I think he's pre-ordered. It is in my basket. As yeah. Well. Absolutely. Uh, it's the Spider-Gwen premium format from Sideshow. This was an instant purchase, much like the Andrew yeah, for you. Yeah. This was my instant yeah. Spidey yeah. purchase of the year. Um, I slept on the Sideshow Premium Format Gwen before, um, which I adored. And this one, whilst not the exact same thing, is doing something that I'm enjoying, which are these new bases that are kind of like yeah. these dynamic things. And something I only noticed today, I because I, there's these nice like colored photos, I think yep. that that side is actually painted blue, so that it's actually like... Oh, cool. Shaded, which is cool. Okay. Um, yeah, sweet. I initially thought that was just lighting, but I think the fact that it's consistent across There's those a bit two, of, yeah. Um, that's cool. Like, you can see more. Oh, yeah, there. totally. Like, that's Yeah, that end. totally is. So, it's kind of got an, an inauthentic but, like, forced sheen to the figure, yeah, which is cool. that's very um, cool. Uh, and, yeah, like, the, the thing that I adored from the uh, other premium format was she had a little bag with drumsticks in it, and I was mm-hmm. like, they've done it here. I'm in. I need that. Yeah. Once that's on a figure, I'm good. Um, And I'm also pretty happy with the unmasked head. Uh, The unmasked head on the previous one wasn't great. I think this Mm -hmm. one has a a nice comic vibe to it. And I'm I'm in for that. Um, Yeah. As we always want. I wish there was light up features with the traffic lights and the light bulb. That would have been nice. It would have been amazing. Yeah. I'm sure we can pay. I could pay someone to, to fit that, but it's okay. I'll deal. I reckon you just talk to the guys that, that, that do it for Lego. Yeah, true. Like my bricks. Yeah, I could, yeah. I could, I could hit just, them just, up. Just message them and go, hey, you guys have got no business in, in working with this stuff, but... <laughs> but how could I make this stuff light up? Because I, I yeah. think that would that would set the, the statue off wonderfully. But Absolutely. Yeah, you can get a good scale of female Josh there behind it. Um, I'm so excited to know how, like, what the base... Is. The base must be incredibly weighted. Because mm. it's such a lean, and like obviously yeah. the, the, the base is it's kind of flat to the, to the surface, yeah. but there is kind of yeah. Like I always wonder with these because we always love like the Mando one where he's walking and Grogu's hovering, and they've kind of yeah. integrated into the cape to keep it all. Yeah. I love those things, but I'm always like, how top heavy is this? Like, how have you weighted this yeah. so that it won't normally? Kind of- um, yeah, because there's ones that I've seen and like touch in hand, and the base is always like a polystone. Yeah, so, so it's, it's always like the dense. base is the heaviest part of the thing. Yeah, and then it's like what what I think they've done here is there's always some form of a wire mm. moving up the figure to keep it yep. center and not topple over. Yeah. Um. So I would say. There is a wire going up the light post, I reckon. Yeah, totally. And then into her leg, and then up through her body, just yep. to keep it straight. Um, but yeah, and like, and that's another thing why these things are always so impressive to us because it's like that's the sort of thing that like they need to think about. Yeah, and they nail it all the time. Yeah, which is just Love great. It. Love it. Um, there's other things that we thought. Oh, Jesus. oh, oh. I've got a title scene here. Why not? There's other things this year that we uh, thought were nailed and we actually bought and had in hand. And uh, I think we should a uh, little break from all the news of this year and, yeah. and show them off. For once. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Past us. Let's see what you got. Don't fuck up. All right. So this year has been pretty big in terms of like figure news and mm. merch and anything in general that you can just buy with money. So we're going to be doing top two things that we've purchased throughout the year. Uh, so my first one is this one six scale. Uh, it's, it's called the Black Transcendent. Mm-hmm. It's not an officially licensed, it's yeah. a third party figure, but it's a damn good third party figure. So it is the uh, Superman from the Snyder Cut. 
Uh, I, I really, really love this. Not just because it looks good, but because there's like figure tech in here that we haven't seen very That's often. Right. I forgot about that. Yeah, the head sculpt does light up to show the heat vision. Uh, and the way you do that is just by giving it a tap on the head. When the batteries are in, if you just tap it. It looks so good even with it off. It does, like the, the paint apps on this are actually really, really nice. And the sculpt is very accurate to that scene. The second bit of like figure tech that's new in this is that normally you would need a flight stand and a crotch grabber for him to be doing this. Hasn't got any of that. Um, so what they're doing is they've got a stand coming up in the back here and they've made it just look like a metal pipe so that it's not an obvious stand but then it's just a magnet. And then if you want to hide this bit, the cape is two layered and there's a little slit just in the bottom there. So you can feed that little uh, stand up through the cape and still attach it to his back. But I'll take him off for the time being because even though he is really nice, the base is also really nice as well. Um, it's got the league emblem that we see in the film. It's got these little bits of like metal like pillars that it's got little slots in the base where you can just sort of like slot them in and they'll sit there. I haven't put any of them on there just because I don't want to lose them, but it comes with like actual rusted wire. <laughs> so as well as the heat vision uh, sculpt, we've got a regular sculpt. It It's okay. It doesn't hit home for Henry Cavill, but being a third party, I don't really mind. I'm just glad that the hair part is on the accurate side, Hot Toys. That's all I care about. I'm not too concerned about the suit because I feel like this has got more like spring back than like the Hot Toys ones, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. While it's a one six scale figure, the cape material is not of that scale. It's like, like it's hard to sort of uh, translate a one to one scale fabric into mm -hmm. a scale for this. Um, so originally the cape did come with wire in it but I've taken the wire out because it's pissing me off. Because it, it is like a multi-layered cape for that feature of the stand being able to be hidden within the cape, trying to move it around and pose it is just a bit of a pain sometimes. You'll try to move it one way, but then because of the, the cape, it'll kind of just like roll over into another spot, um, which can get a bit annoying. So I've, I've taken it out and I don't mind. Overall, like, it's pretty cool. I picked this guy up from Sugo Toys. Um, they were nice enough to do a custom uh, order for me because they weren't like largely getting this in like they did other products. Um, it was a bit of a wait just because there were so many people overseas that wanted it. Um, but yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, pretty decent. Wow. Can you believe it? It was a Superman figure. Okay, okay. Look, okay, all right. This is my bag of tricks. Ooh. Look at this bag, it's a Zing bag, or if you turn it the other way, it's a store you should never buy anything from. Uh, so here's my uh, first pick. You ready for this, Sam? Yep. Ready? Are you ready? Yeah. It is the Hawkeye in Christmas. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. It Why is. Why would you do that to him, though? This is a fucking Funko. It's a funkin' fucko! Uh, it is this! The Mysterio Hot Toys figure! Whoa! Whoa! It looks so good! It, it's an illusion, where is he? Ooh! Uh, so, I love this figure. I think technically he probably came out last year, but I've wanted this one for so long and I finally caved when Sugo did their uh, grand opening of their store. I think it sits on par with my Hella in terms of Hot Toys figures I, I adore. Um, I think the thing that really sets this figure apart from something like Hella um, is the few little accessories he comes with. So he obviously comes with um, magic effects pieces like this guy. Um, using similar tech as the Doctor Strange one, there's just kind of general places to stick your fingers, much like a human. Uh, and then alongside that, he comes with these nice magic effects pieces that are these big plumes of smoke, which are sick. There's kind of a indication that you would kind of do something like that, but also it doesn't have a actual hard shape, that kind of thing, um, does the job, but yeah, you can kind of do something like that. The figure obviously comes with this dome, and uh, this has a similar thing to um, the, Miss the Captain Marvel figures. There's a nice little oh, light. Nice. 
Oh, that's pretty. It's pretty pretty. I also didn't know that it lit up. For some reason, I thought... Uh, Wait, did we miss that? Yeah, I, I assumed it was going to be UV tech, like so much of the Hot Toys stuff at the moment. The cape is stunning. The cape has um, uh, wires through it as well, so you can get it more flayed out yeah, like that. Yeah, nice. Much like a lot of wired stuff, you kind of talked about it. Once it's done a thing, it's hard to make it stop doing that thing, and um, that's a little bit annoying, so I think my general idea is just doing that and then letting that sit. Uh, the one downside of this figure, as with a lot of Hot Toys figures, um, little flimsy bits uh, are the biggest problem. So there's these little cuff bits there, and for the most part they're okay, but uh, and it's actually a big problem on Hella with a big crown. Uh, this basically came broken out of the box. Oh, that that's ones? a shame. Yeah, so a tiny little dab of super glue would probably get it there, but I'm generally posing him down like that and you're not going to see it. This is one of my big purchases that I loved this year. Should we see if you like anything other than Superman? Yeah, I guess so. All right, it's me again. You've seen what Will has chosen for his first thing. Pretty cool, if you ask me. So my second thing was actually a gift uh, from my partner for... Fuck. Birthday? Anniversary? One of the things. You need to remember these things, I man. Do. You're gonna get it in was, serious yeah, fucking trouble. I'm gonna get in trouble for that. Yeah. No, it was anniversary. Um, but this is a replica of the uh, Smallville Crows jacket from Smallville. Oh. This is genuinely like one of my most favorite things. More so because of the quality of it. Like you've got the um, embroidered S for the Smallville Crows and then on the sleeve you've got Clark's name, because this is a replica of Clark's jacket. Uh, and then on the back, you've got the uh, crow's emblem, which is really nice. And it's all like it, like embroidered and stitched onto the actual jacket. The sleeves, I'm gonna assume it's a pleather, but it's like, it feels like real leather because it's like thick. Like, you know, with like that pleather, it's got like that smooth, like fake feel to it. This doesn't have that. And it's even got like an inner lining as well. So it's it, like, it's a proper jacket and there's pockets on the inside, which is great. And then there's, there's pockets down here, which is even better. Like, it's just, I'm just gonna put it on just to, to finish off the- I'll do this and it'll bit. be like you're changing Whoa. it in, in a letterbox. Oh, <laughs> a letterbox. <Yeah. laughs> Keep that in. Whoa, okay. Yeah, so, I mean, it's pretty good. Like, it's actually really, really nice. Yeah, yeah. I remember um, Warner Brothers made like official replicas back in the day when the show was still on air. I saw one on eBay once mm. and it was like four grand. It might still be there. But yeah, no, overall. Amazing. Best item of the year, I reckon. There, look, there was other stuff. And I know you are watching, if you know us and the channel and me, you're just gonna be like, oh, Superman, who gives a fuck? I give a fuck. Me. Oh, I'm back! Will's back! Uh, my next one is uh, something that... Oh, Sam, you love this thing so much. Like, this is one of the best things I have in my collection, and you love it so dearly. Are you ready? I'm going to slam it on the table, and you're going to love it so You're going to slam it on the table, I'm gonna slam it. Just hold it down there. You ready, Sam? This is one of your favourite things ever. Make sure you only look at the viewfinder, and then when it slams into view, uh, you're going to fucking love it. My favourite thing ever! You motherfucker. Look at that. I, um, uh, I, uh, this was bought like fucking nine years ago. It's not, it's not the thing. I'll just bring it out whenever I can. Uh, my actual one is unavoidably this, and it is, I think, probably top three things I have in my collection, just in general. It's, of course, the Neutrino Oh, world. hell yeah. It has to be. Um, thanks once again to Milk Please for getting this to me into my hands. It's just the coolest thing I own. Like, how does it get better? The amount of lights going on here, the metal toggle switch. I'll tell you how it would get better. Yeah. If you had the proton pack. Don't do that, Sam. It's just... It's so cool. And the fact that you've got this dial here, which if, if you turn it up, it actually increases, obviously, the and you'll hear on the sound, increases the pitch, but also increases the amount of vibration happening in the machine. Um, and that does come across to the different fire modes as well. Like, fucking this. It's just very, very good. Um, and especially coming from Hasbro, who the props are getting better and better for sure. But um, obviously started in a pretty average place with some of those lightsabers. But like holding that myself, it's got a good weight. It does, it, 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 but not too heavy for yeah. waddling around a con in this as well. Um, and speaking of that, like, 
the back of this, this is perfectly suited for the backpack that's going to be coming out. It's very, very good. Like the welding marks around there. And thank you, Milk. Thanks, Milk. And thank you, Hasbro, for providing some really cool stuff. Yeah. Should we go back to us? Sure. With more energy than we have right now. Oh, that was pretty good, I'm sure. Not bad. Uh, Look, I will say, yeah. I feel like you throwing a pop vial across the room is going to get a bit heated somewhere on the internet. Just a little. Just a Just little. little. But I know what I did, and uh, I did it with <laughs> intention. <laughs> I, you know what? Because I bought all those Christmas, I bought three of the Guardians Christmas Pops, mm. and then both the Hawkeye ones. All those boxes went in the bin yesterday. They're all gone. I'm sorry, you, William. Sorry, internet. That, that's what you do with pop boxes. If you like the figure and you've got a purpose for that figure, then chuck the fucking box. Exactly. Get rid of it. Um, uh, well, you showed us some Superman. So, well, there's a did. lot of Superman. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> and there's even more Superman in, a, in an unboxing we also found. In another, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, should we check out some DC and I'll, I'll take I it first. Just so Go we don't get it. straight into it. Go Superman. for it, mate. Uh, I'm going to show us this, which is still oh. so amazing to me. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad this is in here because, like, I feel like more with DC this year, yep. there were so many more, like, third-party figures and official totally. figures in general. Yep. They just really, like, took us by surprise as to yep. how good they looked and, like, how affordable they were as well. Oh, yeah. Which, because this isn't bad. No, it's not bad. And and the the ones that are basically a little cheeky stills from Hot Toys, they make sense to be cheap. Whereas this is a wholly new figure. Like, this isn't yeah. taken from anything Hot Toys have done. Yeah. This is a brand new figure. And yeah, it was cheap. It was like in just above 200 for what the amount of yeah. stuff it comes with. Um, because yeah, like it would be enough that it was, you know, a fun outfit for him. But then he comes with these cool props. He has yeah. so many different faces. Um, yeah. As, this one especially is is the standout. <laughs> Maybe you can still see like his facial hair through yes. like the clown makeup as well is always great. It's so I love good. It. I I like I this is from Mars Toys. I didn't really look into what other ones they've done, but uh, I love the fuck. I love I love all of this. Um, I would love to know this is the best That's photo. Great. Um, That's great. I would love to know what their other ones have come out like because this looking at this yeah. it says Mars Toy number thirteen, so they've done a couple of before this as well. Yeah. Um, I'd like to know what the pipeline is in terms of quality to to totally. to these photos because this wasn't their only one for the year. They there was two other versions of yes. this Joker. Yeah. Uh, there was one of him just in like a casual like jeans and button up with suspenders and like the baseball, baseball yeah. mitt and glove yep. um and then there was him in like a proper like white and black clown yep get up uh and then they also did their uh duo two pack of batman and robin mm, mm. which was i feel like that deserves an honorable mention yes absolutely. because that as well was phenomenal and the fact that the both of them as well mm. i think it came to like 370 it was it was nuts <laughs> and they came with just as many accessories yep. and um Amazing. Amazing yeah. stuff all around from these guys. No, but yeah, totally. I would love to see some like in hand shots of this and someone actually posing him and just doing a Harrison Ford and ripping it apart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm I'm like so on the cusp of buying these. It, it's a thing of like I, I like the show. I adored the show growing up and like yeah. obviously dad likes it and there's a spot on yeah. the shelf for these. But in a way yeah. it's like I don't wanna I don't I'm not compelled enough to actually buy them. There's like okay. there's like a, a a fragment that's stopping me, but I think maybe when they come out, maybe yeah, seeing yeah, what they officially look like, yeah, it yeah. might it might tip me over. Um, Absolutely. But uh, something I won't be buying anytime soon. Uh, yeah, is just and I know this is going to sound really weird. It's going to be weird that this is one of my picks, but I think it's one of the best life size things. I mean, it's half scale things I've ever seen, and I need to address it. Okay. Put the person to the side because I've got the uh, J and D Studios mirror. <laughs> I oh man, <laughs> sorry. I know, I know, we don't want to see her, but uh, it's a costume that you've always talked about as well, being very intricate yeah. and very difficult to yeah. replicate for cosplayers, let alone on yeah. a smaller scale. And I think yeah. this statue is very, very good. Um, Absolutely, always impressed with these these either the busts or the scale statues with the hair yeah. as well to make that replicated yeah. on, a, on a smaller scale yeah. and whilst they pull out my headphone uh whilst we don't like the person the face is also incredibly well done yeah um, totally like yeah th this is definitely one of the things throughout the year rolls like that's that's a thing you can buy totally I was like, holy shit it because yeah like, like you said i think the most impressive part to me is 
the suit and yep. having to make that suit because there's so many variations of color yep. and texture and just tailoring within her costume yep. that it's such an intricate piece, but they've pulled it off. It's nuts. Like it's as easy as, you know, slicing bread. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And like, oh, I yeah. think the, the, the base for this as well was another thing that really got me because mm. you've got like the pools of water in yeah. there. Oh, it's so and good. when you're at the right angle, they just like shine. Yeah. And it's, oh, it's and, so, and, like, so good. I don't care enough for these characters, but the entire G&D mm. Studios line so far has been so good because it's been on these simplistic, like, bases. And then it's just yep. been that top piece that's been interesting. Like the um, Suicide Squad Harley Quinn was like just shattered glass and a few gun bullets. And like, yep. I like the simplicity of their bases. Mm. It's really cool. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just incredibly impressed by this. And... While we're here, so that we never have to talk about them again, I also want to put a special mention in for Infinity Studios ba- uh, bust because yes. of this fucking water effect on the hand. That was sick. <laughs> it's so like, cool. And again, though, like, they did a great job with this. Yes. Because, like, I think you can see better here just how, like, Every panel intense is different. the suit. Yeah, <laughs> it's mental. Um, But, yeah, no, like... Again, putting aside the actors, I think the thing... Because for me, this is just visually appealing due mm. to like the amount of colours. Totally. Because it's like you've got such vibrancy in it. Yeah. And you've got variations of the three prime colours, blue, mm. red, and yellow. Yes. So it's yeah. like, it's just an instant, it catches your eye. Mm. And again, like life-size, like it looks so, so yeah. good. I feel like this looks a bit better than the J&D one. Yes. Because I feel like the J&D one, the hair's a bit too fluorescent. Yep. Yeah, it's more. Uh, uh, it's there's a few sequences in Aquaman where it looks like a bad wig, but for the most yeah. part, it is more this for sure. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So yeah, I think this one really does nail it. And, but, um, and I don't want to. We have to not stay on this picture for too long, or we won't get YouTube monetized. But another element that that puts this bust up, uh, above yeah. the J and D is, I mean, the base is amazing, but just <laughs> this. The, the, the water flex. Oh, yeah. The, 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 the little specks of water droplets was unreal. So cool, man. And again, it's like, look, <laughs> we know what you're doing. Yeah. We know Cut it people out. that yeah. buy this, but it's, yeah, still, yeah. it's still super impressive that they go to Absolutely. that detail. Yeah. And, and yeah. like the base as well is beautiful. It's so it's cool. Absolutely man. beautiful. Yeah. So we so will beautiful. never see her in a movie. Oh, I mean, there is still one more to come. Uh, we'll never see. If she's in it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, sure. We'll mm. see what happens. I don't think we'll get mm. merch of her from this movie. So this is a nice, like, yeah. farewell to her for this version of the character and this kind of see merchandise. Your- by uh, show us something, <laughs> something uh, a person that's very good, very kind of the sort. Oh, <laughs> a person who, when you ask him, he's always around, mm. is yeah. Brendan Routh as Superman. How is Any this, kind of Superman. How is this? How have I not gotten? Yeah, look, I'm so... Are you, like, are you okay? <laughs> I, again, I don't know what's stopping me. Uh, you know what? I don't have um, a DC shelf. That's the thing. That's this me. is the last Sun Returns from yeah. So So Toys. Uh, look, I purchased this. Mm-hmm. I have this. He's in my detolf over there. Yeah. He's just in a really like nice standing stance yeah. because the material on this is a bit of a bitch. <laughs> um, yeah. Purely just like the Spideys where when he's posed for too long, it can stretch. Yeah. But with this, because it's got the screen printing, mm. if you have the... Because I, I did have him with his hands on his hips when yeah. I first got him. Like, um, yeah. yeah, like that. So if you can see in the joint of his elbows there where the material sort of like touches each other, mm. because of the screen printing on the suit, if you leave it there for too long, it can get stuck. Mm. So if you pull it away, the screen printing might peel off. Yeah. Um, other than that, Great figure. I mean, but look, that happens with with anything this size of yes. Superman. Yep. It's like the screen printing's always a bitch. Um, same with Hot Toys. Same with anyone else that's done it in the past. Mm. Um, so yeah, I bought this through William Wang, which thank you, Mister Wang, because great service. Yep. Like I messaged him, he had it. Yep. Got it to me from China within a week in I think November. Insane. It was, and yep. it was like mental. Um, I saw a lot of lot of slack. This was copying online for the body that was used. Mm. Um, look, I can 100% understand it because it has got these really, like, you can't really see them that much here, but it has got these really ugly, uh, thick, thick elbow joints, mm. um, that really, really do stand out when you haven't got imposed, like, yep. there, yeah. Um, 
look, it's not the biggest deal. Yeah. It's okay. Like, when you have him in hand, it genuinely is a really, really good figure. The head sculpt is so <laughs> fucking nice. So um, the wire in the cape actually isn't too bad. Mm -hmm. I had issues with, with a wired cape in another Superman figure that I recently bought mm -hmm. where I took the wire out because I was just over it. Mm -hmm. um, but this one I've actually left in because it can sit and the wire doesn't sort of, like, ruin the way it's yeah, sitting or make cool. it look cheap yep. um so yeah it is still really solid i've seen photos of like people have taken the body used for the henry cavill superman mm. figures and then put this suit on him with the head sculpt and it looks so much better mm. like <laughs> genuinely looks so much better but look for the price and the effort going into this i'm so happy with how this one's turned out totally. um and yeah, it's really, really cool. Like, so so have done an amazing job this year with like with announcements and releases. And there's a certain one, yeah, Homelander, mm -hmm. uh, who still hasn't come out, but is hopefully meant to be coming out by the start of next year. Yeah. Please, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. But yeah, other than that, that that that, that, that did a great job this year. And I think mm. this uh, is a great sort of cherry on top to sort of show how well they did. So that's uh, the Kingdom Come Superman I, from So So Toys. Can I yeah. ask you because you mm. have now got three the three supermans that you like grew up with and love yeah if they did a really good tile ocean would you would you fall to oh 100 <laughs> fucking percent nah seriously yeah like if they did a tile of hocklin yeah i would fly to them and <laughs> give it to me in hand yeah yeah because like oh uh, like <laughs> i because I've, I've seen a lot of people asking about it online mm. they're like so so can you do this can yep. you do this please 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 um Season three is coming up in March. Yep. He's got a new suit in season three. Yeah, yeah. I would like to hope that if they are doing a Tyler Hockland, they use this new suit because this new suit, mm. very good. <laughs> very, very good. Yeah, so, good. yeah. Good. Again, mate, there's a Tyler Hockland, 100 <laughs> fucking percent. I probably would too, to be honest. <laughs> I love his version of Clark Kent just as much that mm. so I would want a Clark Kent version mm. where he's just in a simple, a plaid. like, plaid shirt with his glasses. Yeah. Please. <laughs> good. Please. Someone. Yeah. Uh, oh. good. Well, but but you uh, you could afford this uh, one six figure, uh, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can slap the money one, down. <laughs> yeah. Next one may need to sell an organ or two. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but the next one is the uh, In Art Joker from Queen Studios. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, I'm putting this in here purely because when these photos first dropped, it like, like there was a tremor in the one six <laughs> world. Yeah. There was an earthquake of unmeasurable... It. Oh, we're still feeling it, yeah. <laughs> um, look, this figure has uh, caused some issues lately mm. just because Queen Studios had promised it to be coming out by the end of this year. Mm -hmm. That's not happening. No. Um, I did see a thing where there has apparently been issues with like the licensing and yeah, all that wow. sort of stuff. Um, I don't know how concrete that is because mm -hmm. it was just a screenshot of a tweeted message or something. Yeah, right. Um, but... For what we got of these photos, like, this was an absolute game changer, oh, in my game. opinion, for this year. Yep. These guys caused so many companies to actually pull their fucking finger out <laughs> and do good. Like, yep. before these photos dropped, if Hot Toys released a figure, mm. there would only be one edition. Yep. And you got what you were given. Yep. Now, there are some Hot Toys that have up to three editions... Black Adam. And still a Don't wrong. need it. <laughs> yeah, it's so a hard time. <laughs> that cape, man. That cape. Um, but yeah, like there are now some figures from Hot Toys that have mm. got three editions and each edition is so different that it warrants the price. Yeah. And that's what Queen Studios did. They they set a new standard for one six figures. Totally. And I feel even with that, Hot Toys had even improved the efforts they put into their, like, their head sculpts. Mm. Because some of the head sculpts lately, and like that new Holland one oh is- my God just example enough <laughs> yeah. they look phenomenal yeah yeah and and we hadn't seen much improvement across the board in a long time like the standard had kind of been set yeah. and they just kind of like hot forward. toys had kind of gotten very comfortable mm. with where they were at in the one six market and then queen studios were like hey we nah. Sh we shrunk a human. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Literally, we, we shrunk a human. Yeah. Um, and I think this just brought forward a lot more uh new tech in mm. one six figures that we weren't getting before so i think the best part about this is that instead of having to deal with uh wrist and hand joints mm. to change out the hand 
weapons. It's just a magnet yeah. uh, in the ammo, which is great. Or well, I think just under, like, like, like in like the forearm area, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's just a magnet. And with that, that is the biggest reassurance in a figure known that you don't have to worry about snapping yeah. a peg or something. Um, and then when he's standing on the base, you don't need a crotch grab or anything because there's magnets in the floorboards that attach to his feet. So good. And it's yeah. like that. That's what you want. Yeah. That is literally what you want. Yeah. And if we just go back to that that cell very yeah. quickly, like that was all metal. Yeah. And, and a wooden floor. The floorboards were all wooden. It's <laughs> like they went to such extensive like lengths mm. to make this good and make this scare the shit out of other companies. And totally. all these weapons, they're all metal as well. Look at this. And like look at that. Insane. And with this gun you can like pull back yeah. the thing to load it and let it go. And it's, stupid, it's so good. It's so so good. <laughs> yeah. Like there you go with, with like... the magnet. And like the the paint on the hands. Mm. Like that's a real hand. <laughs> that's yeah. a scuff hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. They they really like I, I again I think this is ironically another joker that I would love to see how this turns out in the end. I want to know what those final yeah. product shots are. Because that's the thing, we haven't seen photos of this in hand. Mm. Uh we've seen some photos of it behind glass yep. at some cons overseas, but we've never seen someone Oh no. I think well I mean there, there was in hand stuff, but that was still still kind of prototype. Like our favourite yeah, yeah, yeah. uh had a look at them. Uh, but, yeah. Um, yeah. um but yeah. I, I, I really want to see how easy this thing is to pose. I mm. want to see how the hair holds up over time because there was uh, sculpted hair or rooted hair. Yeah. Um, yeah, look at that. Like, yeah. it's so good. And I really like as well, the base isn't this massive thing mm. that you then need to rearrange your whole display yeah. just to be able to fit in one figure. Yeah. It's like, that's a that's a decent base. And the nice totally. simple emblem there for the, the film is great. Yeah. Um, yeah, Queen just really went all out with this guy, yeah. and with that came the announcements of like they're doing a Superman, they're doing a Batman, they're doing yeah. a Wonder Woman, a Black Adam, uh, Harry. Oh, no, was it Harry Potter? Yeah, there's Maybe. Harry Potter stuff. Yeah, Harry yeah. Potter, yeah. Lord of the Rings, yeah. all these figures that they're going to be coming out, and ho hopefully announcing. Yeah, yeah, and hopefully like announcing soon. Mm. Um, so yeah, like this is purely in here, not because I think. Like, the figure itself mm. was one of my top two things of the year. Yep. But because, like, what this brought forward in terms of changing the game of this, like, market mm. was just ridiculously dumb. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous. Uh, yeah. I can't wait to see characters I want to buy. That, that yeah. I, then I'll just lose money to if it's of this quality. Like, it's, mate, if, yeah. they, if they get the licensing for indie... M messed up. That's fucked. Messed up. Life-size <laughs> Harrison Ford? Yeah. A bust of Harrison's scarred chin. You can take out the whip and the hat. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's I could close my tab of six different fedoras. Um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, I've been close. Uh, and I've never been closer to buying a Prime 1 studio statue than my first pick from other shit. Because I, I wish I had just five grand to throw at this thing, but I just don't Absolutely. quite have that much. Because Absolutely. It's the Uncharted for Nathan Drake Prime One. It's so Prime nice. Prime. It's it's the perfect statue. It is. Um, it's very good. Uh, apart from the fact that it's gorgeous, and uh, you'll see it in all the photos, it also does a thing that we always like, which is, mm. I mean, swappable parts. Also great. Uh, totally. It, that it's kind of um, condensed. It's not like the the back wooden piece might mess you up a little bit but it's going to yep. fit into like an IKEA shelf or something it's not yeah. it's not an annoyingly expansive one that's kind of totally. yeah flying all over the place it's it, it'll be nice um in in a shelf which a lot of prime one yep. stuff like the the dark knight one with batman and superman is so wide Absolutely. And, and yeah yeah um this this manages to get it, like you can see there um everything can find into it and the thing i also love is that this is the load screen of the game when you start yeah up Uncharted 4, yeah it is that's, that's right that. yeah so they basically put so him good. onto the load screen which is fucking awesome um uh, the thing it's generally just the price that's holding me back from yeah. getting this um because yeah i don't have an uncharted piece and if i bought this i would never yeah. buy another uncharted piece that's, no and and that's the thing i yeah. feel like a lot of these like the premium formats from prime one and like queen studios mm. whoever it's like it is like 
the final thing you need. Yeah. Because it's like, we, cause we both like buying things from the franchises that we love yes. to showcase what we're into. It's like, if you can just have one thing mm. for each thing you're into, this is it. Totally. For, for Uncharted, yeah. you know? It's um, it's super cool. Like, it, all, as we say with all these things, the individual little scuff marks and like the pants look coated in mud. Like they look yeah. thick. I was look- just thinking that. I was like, that looks like a layer of mud yeah. on his pants. Yeah, and all the like the perfect m- amount of sweat all over the place. It it's is so good. It's also like I've seen a lot of gaming. There's a lot of Resident Evil statues and stuff that mm. struggle to get the face right because they're yep. actually translating that from a game to not live action, but there's a little bit of that kind of digital yeah, yeah. To, to physical. And sometimes they lose the detail. I think they have, mm-hmm. they potentially put a little bit of like humanizing into him. Like it's not the video yeah. game face it is like a little yeah. bit more like if he was a human being this is what he'd like, like there's like. definitely like extra paws and hairs in there yeah. that it's like they had to do that for that likeness yes. you know um but um but yeah. you know it, it's still definitely like you, you look at it and you're like that's nathan drake yeah yeah oh it's oh man i don't know if somehow this doesn't sell out and it's like down a thousand dollars at some point in time that's when i'll be in trouble dangerous yeah that's when i'll be in trouble um yeah but uh, it's not the only statue I've got in here. The other one I will never need to buy because I can just look at these photos and be very happy. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, do you want to tell the quick story of what happened with this thing? <laughs> like when we are putting it into this yeah, sheet? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So this was a thing where like, it was on my mind because when we first saw these images, mm. I was like, this has to go into the final year mm. thing. Mm. Um, and it's Terminator item. Yeah. So when I was finding the images in my head i'm like i'll, I'll be back ha, yeah, ha, ha. Yeah. <laughs> and then i was like oh in the sheet i'll put he's back yeah as the thing because we have each item mm. as like a as thing an and uh yeah and uh i've gone to the google sheet and <laughs> i've looked and it's already there yeah under will's name and yeah. i was like oh, has dang. he done the same thing <laughs> yeah and I, I, I hovered over the link yeah and it was the same fucking product. It was this one. <laughs> so, uh, but hey, bottom line there, great minds think alike. Yeah. And obviously, we yeah. both really enjoyed the shit oh, out of this bust. It, it, I think in the same line of the in art Joker, it's like it's like seeing advancements in these things and being like, okay, so like this is now the baseline of being the best. Thing. Yeah. Like how do yeah, we get better 100%. Than this as well? <laughs> yeah. And I think the, the thing that was crazy, like, just look at it. It's yeah. like, that's a person. It's a human being. <laughs> it's a human being. And I remember there was a photo of like the people working on this and mm, they just had a I've screenshot got... up from the fucking movie. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Like what the hell? <laughs> insane. Like, they've got a seven head on a desk. Yeah. 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 Insane. <laughs> It's it was just one of the most impressive things like, of the year, because, if not the most. Totally, and like because like this is cool enough. The arm is like incredibly yeah. detailed, and yeah. there's a nice little bit of weathering. But yeah, to then have just and I don't like having this on screen for long because it is so grotesque. Um, yeah. But like yeah, being I'll zoom in so we get away from the flesh. But uh, the the l- little rust and the blood splatters yeah. across all the metal is yeah. Like, this is cool. And then it looks like Arnold. <laughs> like Yeah. Like, there's so many layers of paint apps here. Yeah. That it's ridiculous. Like, you can see that. The pulling oh, blood it's on just, there. it's ridiculous, man. And, like, I'm really curious if you, like, took the shirt off him. Mm, mm. What he'd look like underneath. Yes, totally. Cause... It's, no- it's normally a thing with these where they still go to that amount of detail yeah. under the shirt. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's like, it's just it's so nice. Super cool, man. It's so so good. I, oh and also God. the thing that we've talked about earlier this year is the cutoff on these is always yeah. interesting of where they what they cut off. They've obviously not done the other arm, which kind of weirdly works for this character. Like he doesn't need yeah. a second arm. But I also yeah. like I like where this cuts off. It kind of feels like the internals of a Terminator or something like it. Totally, it, yeah. it really fits with the character. Yeah, um, they 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 just done a good well at theming it mm. with. What is sitting on top of it? <laughs> totally. Yeah. I God. I I do think it's the best thing this year. I think if we were to rank everything in this spreadsheet right now, like in terms it gets of quality, a golden basket from yeah, us. Golden basket next year. I'll have that graphic ready. <laughs> um, yeah. Stunning. Uh, I don't even want to think about or remember what the price was because it was oh. so much. But a few grand. A few easy. grand. Uh, but few yeah. Grand. Good on you, Infinity Studios. You you made it in this twice this year. So. So um, you yeah. guys did good, yeah, because that's pretty impressive so, on our part. I, um, I was about to say make a Henry Cavill, but they definitely have, and uh, you oh, just haven't bought yeah. it. I think they did. The, no. they did the shirt opening one, right? 
I think that was potentially them. What was the company? Infinity? Infinity Studios. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure. Because yeah. Queen have a one-to-one scale one mm. coming next year, yep. which I'm intrigued about if mm. that even still goes forward. But, mm. you know. um, <laughs> but look, this is amazing. But another thing that I thought mm. was really, really cool mm. this year is a 1-6 figure. Yes. Uh, it was the Outlaw figure, mm. otherwise known as Mr. Morgan. There he is. From Red Dead Redemption Boy. 2. Yeah, yeah, two. Two, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And uh, yeah, like this thing, I see this pop up every now and then on like Facebook and stuff. Mm. And I'm still so fucking tempted. I, I, yeah. I, I When you put this in, yeah. I was like, did he buy it? Because it feels like he should buy it. <laughs> yeah. Because like I've got a Joel from yeah. The Last of Us. Yeah. And I would love a Kratos. Mm. Um, but like this thing really makes up a whole like environment and scene mm. because he already comes with an amazing amount of things. Yeah. And then the base he's got yeah. is oh, like the little campsite. Yeah. I'll try and um, um, to it, but yeah, there you go. But yeah, it's like, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Like, it's so cool. <laughs> it's so, so cool. Yeah. And yeah, like, w- once you go through, like, he comes with different variations for like the beards. Yeah, and the hair um, and hat. And, yeah. The hair and everything. Yeah. It's like, there's a, an amazing amount of effort that's gone into this. Um, and like Red Dead Redemption for me is just such like a comfort game in a way. Um, and like, I can see that in this figure. Totally. Um, so I'm so, so tempted. The arms are so good. Like it's, yeah, it's, that, totally. Like third party figures aim to cover the body so that they don't have to show you what body they've used underneath. Whereas this, yeah. they've, they've obviously gone to the effort of nailing the body for, totally. for all those different poses. Totally. Like, look at yeah. That. Like, like look at all the <laughs> shit he comes with, man. Oh, that's mental. <laughs> yeah. That's so, uh, there's another good photo of it all there. Like the different it's outfit so combos. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, you know, the thing, like, you've got so many options on how to show him off. Mm. And I think that's one of the best things about these third party figures that they, they, they put in that fan service of like, here's your options of what mm. you can do with him. Yeah. Um, it's all just such iconic stuff from the game anyway. But yeah, this is. Very cool. I. Yeah, this is, yeah, shit for me when are you um, gonna fucking buy this <laughs> when are the room yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Because look, I, I would love a gaming shelf yeah. where it's like joel morgan and yep. kratos yeah yeah um one I, day. I, I i see the room one that's day. it I one day the room. it'll happen uh <laughs> but staying in the world of third party figures mm-hmm. this is one that william just needs to bite the bullet on because mm-hmm. it is so fucking cheap yeah uh but this is the uh third party indiana jones no it's not what the fuck that's not indy Th- this is a figure that could have gone so south so quickly yes have been terrible. but the fact that it's good yeah and we've seen people buy it we've seen photos that they've taken of it and it holds up so well Stupidly well. <laughs> Stupidly well. Um, but yeah, I, I, I can't see on my screen, but who is this by? Uh, Present Toys. Present Toys, yeah. yeah. So they did this 1 6 version of Indiana Jones. Um, you can choose what film he's from, I guess. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, it's just, I think I was just surprised at how good this was because it's nice and simple mm. and it's a figure that was made by hot toys a long time ago and is now ex- stupidly expensive yeah um and i think this is what a good thing that third party are doing as well is that they're giving the options for people that missed out the first time around mm. to get these figures again yep. just not be a, like officially licensed which look i'm, I'm fine with yeah it's fine also right? there's um there's good comparisons of the head sculpts and this head sculpt is better now like it it's Absolutely. it's not a direct copy from yeah. the original, and it's actually yeah. an upgrade. Uh, yeah, totally. If anyone's wondering as well, though, this one doesn't look like this in hand. It doesn't ha- look like a photoshopped mouth onto that a That really <laughs> does. Oh, wow. Uh, they clearly didn't have one ready for, for this promo. But it, the, the, the more stern one is definitely the better of the two heads, but yep. the, the smiley one's not too bad. Yeah. Uh, I have bit the bullet. I'm waiting. Have you? <gasps> I have. I have. Have you bought it? I was, I was hoping it would be here for uh, Wednesday, but it didn't hit here. Oh, yeah. my fucking I God. I and I bought another third party thing that also was one that we, I was sitting on for a long time. So. Oh. There's an we'll unboxing coming out. in the future. Oh, yeah. Um, we have I, to do some content on that. Yes. Please. <laughs> I'll be crying for both of the figures. I'm very excited. Um, but I did oh. bite that bullet, Sam. 
Uh, oh my god! Yeah, that Willy I'm Wang. So proud of you. He just uh, oh, he gets me, Mr. Wang. He's doing God's work this year. <laughs> yeah, uh, stealing all oh, our money. But um, yeah, good pick, Sam. Good pick. <laughs> yeah, thanks, mate. I'm so glad that worked out. And being the way you revealed that you bought it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I wish I had it in hand on on the other day, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll get there. Oh, this is sick. I'm yeah. so excited. Yeah. I don't know where. The, oh. I don't know where they're going, but they'll go somewhere. No. They'll I'll go somewhere. Um, um, well, yeah, I think that that's the end of uh, our picks. That's all our picks. Uh, for the year. But as you guys know, if you watch us, mm. uh, we have a lovely little toe community we do. of the Etos. Yeah. Um, and these are people who have submitted their top picks for the year through uh, Patreon and Discord. And William, yes. if they're not in the Patreon or Discord... How can they get in there? Mm, they can get in there by going to patreon.com slash each to their own and just giving us three bucks and getting to a super secret Discord where cool stuff happens. Like, uh, Sometimes. This. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not, it's not, usually it's not driven by us. There's cooler people no. than us in that Discord. Um, With a lot of opinions. A lot of opinions. Most of them right. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but uh, these ones aren't opinion-based, so you're all right. Um, yeah. The, uh, the first opinion is uh, the most correct opinion, and that comes from Dolphin Pants, who says mm. their favourite piece of merch uh, that they bought this year was the Fantastic Eto merch. Oh, He knows how he knows. to get us. He knows. Yeah, uh, he but knows. But there's nothing we can uh, give him because he's already bought the Eto merch, so uh, oh. I don't, sucking up to us isn't going to get you a... No. Uh, Jotunheim Ragnarok collection. Um, no. <laughs> but uh, Grubby did get something. Uh, and I've read, read this so many times this year, and I always think it's a statue of Stephanie's dog, but it's not. It's a I character. I just read it, and even I was like, <laughs> yeah. "Wow, that's much." <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a character called Scardi from Ark Knights, which is a, cool. uh, a game that came out, I think, this year or possibly last year. Um, okay. There was uh, also in the uh, our Tepid FM um, Grubby had a song from Ark Knights, so clearly nice. massive, massive fan of this thing um, yeah, for this good. year. Uh, then, of course, Old Faithful. Joshy. Uh, Joshy. Never a single line and never a single option has given us three favourite things this year. Amazing. Uh, he says, I can't just pick one. It's a three-way Marvel Legends tie between Iron Man with a comic accurate Tony Stark hate with the blue highlights, uh, which That's is this guy cool. down here, which is very cool. Uh, the Doctor Strange as well, which was a classic That's Strange. Yeah. Um, I'm glad I don't have a comic shelf of Legends because this year has been... Very tempting. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Very cool. And then, uh, what else we got? Then, uh, my dad would have been ecstatic about the blue mast head. He must have been a, a, a fan of that. Um, and then, uh, also the new Warriors speedball, which is this guy. Wonderful okay. comic character. I never thought would get a figure. So, there you go. Very nice, Joshy. Good job. Good picks. Um, Milk Please also couldn't choose. He gave us two options. Um, See, but I th look, <laughs> with Milk, yeah. he has bought an absurd amount of shit this year. He has. That is so good. All the big good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but please um, tell us, what are his uh, his picks for 2022? Two, these are the two picks. He says, up until the big man arrived, it was going to be the Muffex, um black suit Spidey, which is very cool. Look at that articulation. That's sick. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, uh, but the other day, uh, where, where is it? Uh, Black Suit Spidey. But as of the other day, my purchase of the year has been the Marvel Legends Haslab Galactus. Uh, I don't think there is it's anything totally more to be said on that. It's so good. Did no. you Did you go for his Twitter thread of him opening it? I did. It was fucking amazing. It's very good. <laughs> Best <laughs> short film of the year, Absolutely. if you ask me. Absolutely. I can't remember. I think maybe it come out, came out last year, but I'll also count his Daily Bugle. I feel like yep. this is actually three picks. And I feel like next year he's going to count the Proton Pack from yeah. Haslabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's got to be his pick for next year. Surely. Um, God, I can't wait to steal that off his back. Um, <laughs> Jade also says that the Lego Star Wars advent, advent calendar that they got in time. Oh, cool. Uh, the 1st of December. Yeah. I, uh, I forgot to get the Marvel one. Maybe I'll buy that cheap now that it's maybe. not relevant. <laughs> It might True. be there. Um, uh, Laughing Seal says the Aliens tabletop game, uh, but they need to find a group nice. to play it with. Um, Dump Day says, does my PS5 count? But he also says, also we adopted Gatsby, which involved an adoption fee, so it's technically oh, a purchase. He's technically per. That's great. It's a cool looking cat. It's a cool yeah. Looking cat. Look at that. Look at those eyes. Looks like a manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They can yeah. organise in my life. Um... <laughs> 
Uh, I don't know what that means. Uh, and then Violet <laughs> Wind says, not a figure, but it's my Grogu jumper. And they absolutely... Oh, uh, oh, that's pretty cool. I like the colour. I like the colour. Yeah. It makes me... That's nice. It makes me calm. It makes me very... I intense. like that that's, like, officially licensed as well. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. a good bit of merch. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, good picks, everybody. Uh, especially Yeah, us. great job. Um, <laughs> I think uh, I think we did well this year. Um, well, I, I I think we did well, and I mean I think it's safe to say that we wouldn't have been able to do well without all the lovely people that watched us uh, every time we were live. Absolutely, uh, we are hopefully going to be back next. I mean, look, we we will be back next year, yeah. but hopefully. More uh, more, more consistent and with more things because, mm. um, like, look, I feel like merch is only going to ramp up this year, hopefully. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm sure yeah. we say that every year. We but- do. I also think that next year is kind of uh, the deadlines for a lot of our pre-orders. Like, we haven't actually got much beyond next year for a lot of the things we've had on order. So, hopefully, we'll have some cool So I mean, I'm pretty sure, for me-wise, mm. Spidey, I think, is 24. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there, there, there may be one in there. That yeah, might, you'd hope hopefully. so. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I have something on the way from pop culture that I pre-ordered yesterday. Uh, very. You pre-ordered cool. yesterday. Yeah. What well, the fuck did you get? Technically, this morning, not pre-ordered, purchased. Uh, technically, this morning when uh, they currently have a twenty percent off everything on uh, in store. So jump on that, people. Oh fuck. <laughs> So hang on, see ya. See you guys. <laughs> Sam's gone. <laughs> um, I'm very excited. You, you, it, it was one of it's one of the many things that we I've looked at and been like I should buy that and I never did. And then I was on the site and it said it was in stock and I'm like, I could do that. I can work Shit. that out. So uh, that may be in the first uh, episode <gasps> of that figures next year. We might be able to have a look at that. Uh, and then hopefully also indie. And you've also got an unboxing that will hopefully be out. Um, yeah, very soon hopefully. As well. um, do we want that I mean, out we, or do we want we, that in the episode? But we, no, we I, want it out I, soon because it's pretty cool. I reckon yeah. we make it a separate thing yes. just so that we've got content up our sleeves. Yeah, yeah. And it's also very you know? exclusive, so we should get that out yeah, soon as well. Yeah, true. And, I mean, there's other videos that we haven't posted yet either, mm-hmm. so it's like we've got some content. We've got a lot. It just depends on when it comes um, out. Yeah, this is actually sandwiched between a whole bunch of content. So uh, if you are yeah. watching this... Get keen for uh, stuff on movies, on TV, on the MCU. We've done a lot of different uh, things of the year videos, so make sure you watch those uh, and also the ones that came before this one because um, you're watching it on YouTube. So give us a subscribe yeah. and give us a like. Because I think if you do that, then you'll be ready for all the content that we'll be bringing you in the new year. Well, yeah. So, because we're not going to, like, you know, get slower. No. Or get crappier. No. Hope- hopefully it'll just get better. Yeah. Or at least Ho- stay hopefully. the same. Yeah. At the very That'd least. That'd be good too. Yeah. Just stay about average. Yeah. That'd be good. Um, mm. If you like average, again, hit subscribe and like, and head to the Patreon to support <laughs> this average content. Um, uh, you can also go to where to find your beautiful art, Samuel. I keep, I'm going to oh, call you Samuel forever. I can't, I can't let that go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you guys do want to check it out, uh, you can find it over on Instagram at Sam's Studio AU. Mm-hmm. Um, and look, if you guys want to just keep in contact with me, you can follow me on Twitter at Sam Gironda 11 G-I-R-O-N-D-A yes. 11. Maybe I'll start I figure I'd use you. that as like, you know. Yeah. A thing where people can follow me if they want. Yeah, the person, not the artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think I'm just gonna. Because, like, look, I haven't been on Twitter in a while. Yeah, pretty cool. It's done you well so far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna call you S- Sam Studios AU. That's what I. When I want to use the wrong name, I'm gonna use Sam Studios AU. That's what I'll do. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> okay. Done. Deal. All right. Until the next one of these, I've been Will. And I have been Sam. See you later. I know you've been Sam Studios AU.